what's happening guys welcome to another video and yes I've been a bit slack I think it's been about four weeks or so but I was sick there for a while just had that dreaded flu or cold and cough and it seemed to go on for about three weeks but uh, we're not too bad now so uh, and then we had the Olympics that bugged me up a bit because all of a sudden I had the Olympic kayaking team calling me up they've obviously watched a couple of my kayaking videos they wanted to uh, ask me a little bit about technique and style and stuff because they were having a bit of trouble so I sorted them out then I had that I think it was Jess Fox the kayaker that goes through all the rapids and stuff she was having trouble with her Eskimo role so I sorted her out and just when I thought I was finished with the Olympics I had that, uh, what was her name, Ray Gun or something, the dancer, so uh, she called me up so I tried to teach her a few moves in the break dancing, but uh, obvi obviously she didn't use them, but uh, anyway, that's enough of that uh, crap. Today we're heading up the river, we're going to, I think it's called Pelican Point, a mate of mine, Chicky and Kylie, have just bought a shack there, so they've invited me up there. We have done videos with them before at uh, York's Peninsula or Moonta. So looking forward to getting up there, checking out their new place, probably do a bit of fishing. We'll see what happens. I didn't bring the kayak, but they've got a couple, so we'll see what happens. But uh, the weather's miserable, it's windy, it's cold, but that's good for the farmers. I think we had about 12 points, uh, 12 millimetres of rain yesterday up on my brother's farm so uh, that was good they needed that and what else so yeah we're heading um, at the moment we're just nearly to Bow Hill so we're cutting up to Bow Hill we'll go past Swan Reach uh, then we'll cross the bridge at Blanchetown and then uh, when we get to the Adelaide side of the river we'll turn right at the servo and uh, follow up towards Morgan so I think Pelican Point is just below Morgan there so uh, that's about it what else we've been doing oh, I bought another toy guys midlife crisis uh, I bought a dirt bike so looking forward to that I've been for a few rides my brother's back into it a fair bit for the last five years he's got tracks up on his farm he's got a little site on YouTube called Mally Moto Trails where he lets people go up there camping pretty much for free I think and he's got campsites there tracks through the scrub like 20 or 30 kilometers long plus there's all rides along the railway line and stuff up there so looking forward to having a ride with my brother and I've got a few mates in Tail and Bend that are, we used to ride years ago so they're getting back into it a bit so we're probably not going to be as fast as we were before but we're just out there for a bit of a fun nice little slow trail ride so uh, and it'll be good to chuck in the back of the ute once I work out how to get it up there. So when we're doing some camping trips, especially when we're right up the top of the Murray and stuff, it'd be great just to go for a bit of a cruise along the uh, back blocks of the Murray where the ute won't get to and do a bit of filming and a bit of searching. So looking forward to that. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. We better turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means? It's time to start the music. Okay guys, so we got our spot here. Looks like a little communal shack area. Five or six shacks. 
or maybe only three not too sure so Chicky's done all this work in the last three weeks or so putting all this dirt in leveling it up so that'll be our campsite for the night I think Chicky's just coming up now Chicky's truck got a bit of firewood here what are you doing drinking out of a glass? G'day boy. G'day. What is it? Simba. 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 Out of a glass, Chicky. What do you got a keg set up? He's got a keg set up. Unbelievable. Lucky I'm off the... No, I'm off the beer. I've got a, some Jim Bean. Coke, no sugar. No sugar for me. So this is in your boat, is it? Is it? What about the one in the shed there? That's yours too? Yeah, I bought this one. Nice little spot there for the fire. Communal boat ramp down there in a little area where he can tie his boat up. I'm guessing, Cheeky, you did that. Uh, that used to be a willow spot. So you cleared all that bit out on the right? Yep. So that's going to be your little spot? Couldn't find out there. Yeah? Oh, cool. Is that actually your land or are you just taking it over? Yeah. Um, Beautiful. We lowered that one onto the ladder. A little bit of work here and there's a little the track down there to walk down to the river. Okay. okay guys, we're gonna check out the inside. I think Chicky's done a fair bit of work in here. It's looking pretty flash. Pretty good bathroom. This all flash as fuck. That thing there'd be worth about six grand. See proper beer fridge can have a look at it. Gives it cracks. <laughs> Very nice. Couple of bedrooms and this extension chickies built out here is gonna be their main bedroom the other half. So this first section in here will be open. And that second section is going to be their main bedroom. So he's done heaps of work here. So just uh, getting a bit more inf info from him. There's about 10 shacks here. And that's all private for all the shacks down along there. To the right of the houseboat that was full of willows. And Chicky got rid of those within about two weeks of owning the place. See him over to the right there. So he's going to build another jetty there. And that's going to be his bit for skiing. The houseboat there is for the pe the guy that used to own this. Evidently he died recently and they're having a bit of a wake for him and I think they threw his ashes out into the river. So yeah, great little spot. Over the other side, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but an old wrecked houseboat. We might see if we can get in Chicky's dinghy tomorrow and uh, we'll go across and check it out. Nice little windmill hidden in the trees over there. I love a good windmill. Where all this dirt was here, this was actually a cliff from where Greg's sitting, sitting right straight down. And he's filled it all in. Now that's Jimmy. I'm the little digger, or the little front end loader. So me mate Chicky doesn't drink much, but um, I hope you didn't watch the video and saw that I just wasted a bit of his beer. I think it's going to be a big night, guys. Um, feeling a bit tiddly already. But uh, what a beautiful spot. And by the way, it's called Wombat's Rest, not Pelican's Point or whatever I was saying. I think that's down to the right a bit. But uh, I think we're off to the pub now. He's dragging me to the pub and the other guys. He's got his workers here. Jimmy and Greg. So uh, when we get back, we can have a big bonfire right there. And then uh, hopefully I can do a bit of a cook up. I bought a bit of steak and I think a lamb chop, a couple eggs. I'm back on my uh, no carb thing again. So uh, we'll have a bit of a cook up tonight. And by the time we get back from the pub, I'm pretty sure it, it might be a uh, fairly rough cook up. I 
would have been happy back at Chicky Shack having a cup of coffee, but uh, Chicky's dragged me off with Greg and Jimmy and Hunter to the pub, but uh, yeah, we, we're surviving. Thanks, G. Thanks for inviting me up for the weekend, buddy. Oh, you let he can't talk. You, you can't talk. Good to see. You. Good, good to see you, Mark Martin. Oh, good to see you, Pommy. Love you. Well, guys, it's probably been a bit longer day than I was expecting. And uh, we grabbed Chicky out of the pub. Now we just got to find the car. I think Jimmy's going to drive home. He's sober, so uh, hopefully we get home and we can do a bit of a cook up. Okay, guys, it's been a pretty big night here. We've uh, finally got home. We're doing a cook up. I don't know what I've got there. I think I've got a bit of lamb and we've got a bit of beef. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. We're going to cook that up with a couple of eggs and that'll be perfect. Okay, guys, it's come along pretty good. We've got the steak on the left. We've got the uh, lamb chop on the right. Give that a little bit longer, then we'll chuck a couple of eggs in there. Bloody perfect. Okay, guys, we've got the eggs in there. That's looking pretty bloody good, I think. We'll plate up in a minute and uh, give you a food review. We've just plated up. We've got the steak on the left. We've got the lamb chop on the right. Okay, guys, food review. Just finished up absolutely brilliant they got the vacuum cleaner going over there I'm gonna give it a 8.6 well good morning everyone beautiful morning the crew are all up Chicky made me drink too much last night Greg didn't help that hole down there so plans today somehow I'm going to try and get across the river to that old houseboat and we're going to check it out so I'm either going to swim going to kayak down there or if Chicky puts his speedboat in or the tinny actually the tinny sounds good I've, have you got oars for the tinny though so each of the shack owners get their own jetty that one's Chickies just down there. Boat ramp, which Chickie's going to put a new slab of cement in. And where all that new dirt is, that was all trees and willows. Until Chickie come through and cleaned it all out, he's going to build another jetty down there to the right. So a good spot for them to go skiing from. So here's the choice of transport, but I can't find the oars for that. They're not in the shed behind. Kayaks look like they're kids' kayaks, so that could be interesting. Looks like it's going to have to be a kayak. Okay guys, this could be one of the stupidest things I've done. Old fat guy trying to get in this uh, kid's kayak. As usual, I didn't bring any shorts or anything, so we've dropped the pants off. I don't know how deep it is down here, or how slippery. That feels like sand there. Alright, let's give this a go. Oh, it's bloody cold. I'm not falling in today, guys. It's freezing.
thin sand we're on sand this should be pretty easy flop the bum in same as usual and uh, we'll see how we go oh, shit. Oh fuck. I feel in. It's freezing bloody idiot. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck me. Oh, there's no one up there watching, thank God for that. Kids bloody quack. Definitely an idiot. Oh shit, I gotta get and find some more clothes. It's freezing. Okay guys, here we go. Attempt number two. We're gonna go the safer version, the dinghy. Chiggy's putting a little motor on it. Uh, I don't know how well my microphone's working, it's all wet. And there's a few people have asked before, do I fall off the kayak on purpose? I can guarantee I don't. This camera's worth about 500 bucks and with the media mod I've got on it, it means you've got to fit it without the waterproof side uh, bit on it. So uh, yeah, if this went underwater, it would be knackered. bit of glass and I'm walking around barefoot so I've got to be a bit careful the old steel pontoons which I hate unless you've got lots of money to redo them every might get, I don't know, I'm guessing 25 years if you look after them with the right anodes I can't see them with any anodes on this one After all my houseboat adventures, I'm not a real fan of them. I had trouble with the very first houseboat I had and got it all checked over, the pontoons, and was supposed to get 20 years out of it. Ended up costing me $45,000 for a new set of pontoons. That's probably guessing 15 years ago. So, I know there's a lot of people, or a few, probably on this site that own houseboats, but yeah, if you've got a good one, they're fine, but I just couldn't put up with the worry, the weather, the wind, checking whether the ropes are right, but that's just me. As they say with boats, there's two good days when you got a boat, the day you buy one, and the day you sell one. Might be different if you're a multi-millionaire. Yeah. That's where the steering wheel would have been. Looks like it had a couple of bedrooms. Had a bit of a step up there, a couple of steps halfway back. Bed there. It's not bad for a little six horsepower motor, especially with me sitting in the boat. It's a four stroke. Yep, six horsepower four stroke. Well, we just conked out again. <laughs> Don't care.
Okay guys, that's gonna finish this one. You know it's always gonna be a hard weekend going up with Checky, but uh, it was good fun. Great check he's got there now. Be good to get back up there, especially in the summer, get the tinny up there, and uh, hopefully there's a few yabbies running in the summer, so it'd uh, be good to go to those backwaters that we went to in the tinny. But uh, good fun. Had a close call just before, just before Bow Hill, Mr. Kangaroo by about two metres and it was weird it was just where the road changed from 110 kilometers down to 100 and i was had the cruiser on at 108 and uh, i just slowed down at that sign and kangaroo came out so would have been very interesting if i didn't slow down so uh anyway we're nearly home uh hopefully have a video out pretty soon again had a bit of a gap with this one but we'll try and keep them a bit more regular don't forget the long run for all of this a few years time when hopefully i can retire if i make it to the retirement age uh, is to be putting out one or two videos every week and do a lot more traveling i'm looking forward to doing my first big trip from the mouth of the murray up to where the murray starts one side of the river and then back so that's uh, one i'm looking forward to in a few years time but uh, we'll keep pumping a few videos out if you're new to the channel press the subscribe button that'd be fantastic it helps the channel and we can uh, gradually build it up and hopefully i can make enough money to pay for a bit of fuel for my trips so that's about it catch you guys later thanks for watching see you later